Mausoleums in Ancient Societies Since the dawn of time, mankind has sought to deal with the dead in a respectable manner. One way people in ancient times handled that was to enter bodies in large tombs, or mausoleums. The term was first used to refer to the enormous tomb of King Mausolus in Halicarnassus, which was located in the land occupied by the modern-day nation of Turkey and was a structure so impressive that it was deemed one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In the distant past, mausoleums were almost always built for leaders, such as the Egyptian pharaohs, for whom the pyramids were erected, but over time, it became standard to construct simpler structures for deceased individuals of more modest standing and wealth. Unlike the Egyptians, who constructed their pyramids thousands of years ago, the Greeks came late to mausoleum building. Oh, in the initial years after they became civilized, they preferred to bury their dead in the ground with just stone markers, often with bar-leaf carvings on them. Only after the conquests of Alexander the Great in the 4th century B.C. brought the Greeks into contact with more exotic cultures did their mausoleums become more elaborate. Oh, Greek mausoleums from that time were mostly square-shaped, had peaked roofs, and featured columns either in a frontal facade or surrounding the entire structure. Oh, the Greeks also often painted frescoes inside their mausoleums, and pottery was placed inside them along with the corpses. The Romans practiced burial from their earliest days, but later introduced cremation and put people's ashes into urns. Nevertheless, even when they burned a body, they saved a small part of it and buried it after conducting certain rites. Roman cemeteries were located outside urban centers. The poor were simply buried in plots while the wealthy were interred in large mausoleums, some of which can still be seen lining the roadways in places outside Rome and other urban regions. Roman mausoleums imitated the Greek style in that they were square with peaked roofs and included columns and elaborate entrances. The mausoleums of famous and wealthy families traditionally housed several generations of dead in urns. The largest of these crypts even included dining rooms and kitchens for family members to use when they were making visits to honor their deceased ancestors. Most featured bar leaf carvings and paintings both inside and outside, and the richest families had gardens outside the main entrance. The ancient Chinese also constructed large, ornate mausoleums for their dead leaders. The styles of their mausoleums varied over time, but they frequently featured both an above-ground structure and subterranean chambers. A long road, a spirit way, usually led to the tomb and was lined with statues of animals and people. The surface structure of the mausoleum was mostly just an elaborate entrance to the underground tombs. The tombs of members of the imperial family tended to be inside mountains while those of lesser standing were buried beneath large mounds. Burial chambers could be one level or many depending upon the sizes of the structures and how many individuals were buried within them. The burial chambers themselves contained large numbers of statues and had murals painted on the walls.